Hello YouTube, this is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and today we're talking all about Skrillex. So why are we talking about Skrillex in this video? Well, first off, I need to provide some context. Back on January 1st, I put out a video sort of predicting what the year was going to be for this year in EDM, and in that video I said this. I think we will see multiple returning albums from artists that are bigger names that haven't put something out in a long time. Um, one of those I think is Skrillex. Um, I think we'll see finally something from Skrillex this year, some self-release things. He's been doing a ton of producing on the back end for a ton of different people. And uh, I think it's finally his time to, to come back. And then literally hours later, after that video was posted and went public, Skrillex dropped the QFF, uh, essentially the Quest for Fire, Don't Get Too Close teaser. And uh, I feel like I sort of predicted it. So it took under just about two months for those two albums to come out and they came back back to back with Quest for Fire and Don't Get Too Close. And uh, since then, you know, a little bit ago, earlier in the year, uh, after the albums came out, um, Skrillex made another tweet that said essentially this. It was the Quest for Fire, Don't Get Too Close, Skrillex and Contra 23, which um, if we're going by how Skrillex had sort of um, marketed or tweeted about this in the past, um, one could assume that Skrillex Contra means two more albums coming out, uh, meaning that Skrillex may drop a total of four albums in 2023. So if you catch on to what I'm doing here, uh, by making a video about this, uh, maybe later on this afternoon or maybe later this week, uh, he'll drop a teaser for two new albums coming out. No, but seriously, um, this is still quite a cryptic tweet of sorts. And uh, if I had to actually predict and guess, I actually don't think it is two more albums. I My guess would be like a show. It'd be like a Skrillex tour and then like a Contra. I don't know what that could necessarily mean, but my guess is it's not actually two albums. It's just the, it's the albums and then probably like a tour or I don't know, a festival or something like that um, named either, I don't know, Contra. I don't, I don't know what exactly, but my guess is realistically probably not two more albums. But this video is also twofold. It's one to predict and sort of egg Skrillex on because he's very clearly watching these videos and knew that I was catching on. And so uh, he had to post the teaser right away um, before anyone got too suspicious. But uh, other than that, um, I actually had a fun thing come in the mail. Uh, I actually had the, um, which I believe this to be, the Quest for Fire vinyl that I originally bought pretty much right when the thing came out. And so uh, we're gonna open this up and do a little bit of a vinyl unboxing too. So uh, let's hop into this thing and I will make sure not to show the box too much so I don't dox myself. Um, but, oh. Oh, this is not quite what I... So I'm just gonna show you what I see first. So I see this first and then let's flip this thing over. And here's the other actual album art here. For this is the, obviously the Quest for Fire album art. And then this is, this looks baller. This looks freaking sick. This backdrop kind of thing here. I think if I um, remove the, uh, the filament here, I think you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, hopefully you can see this maybe a little bit better now. I cannot actually tell what you can and can't see. So that is the front and then this is the back. Um, I think this looks really, really nice personally. Um, I think it looks really cool. And so let's open this up and see what our inside, it does not have an inside. Okay, it's one of the, oh yeah, some some do, some don't. What am I, who am I kidding? But uh, it has a sleeve here and it's got the, whatever you wanna call these things. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's Xena, this is Leave Me Like This. Uh, I can't remember which other one is. And then on the backs, got these sort of kind of cryptic things. I'm not sure what this means exactly, but um, they're, uh, this is a fun little like kind of redoing of the name Skrillex. Um, I guess there's a QR code on the bottom here. It says, oh, it just says Oslo and At Atlantic. This is the album uh, list here. The track list, I should say, not the album list. Um, and then this is, uh, yeah, this says Quest for Fire, uh, Quan, Quard, Quar, I actually can't read that. <laughs> Quardarium? I actually don't know what that means. Quardum, it's in a weird font, so I can't quite fully uh, read that, but uh, yes, I believe this is the, if I remember correctly, this is like the red. Uh, yeah, it is. So let's open this baby up. That is a nice looking vinyl. Um, I did indeed get, it looks like the A side the first time, 33 RPM. And yes, I'm gonna say that's the A. I'm gonna think that, I think that's what A is. And then I'm assuming, oh yeah, I think this is a B. That's what this is saying on the, I think. Let's see. 
What do we have in the other one? This is nice looking. Yeah, yeah. And so then this is, I'm gonna say, yeah, there's a C here and then there is the D there for the C, D side. So um, really nice looking records, really nice looking vinyls. Um, I'm happy this came in. I actually totally forgot about this because I ordered it like pretty much right when the album came out on, I think like the Warner Music website or something like that. And uh, it said it was gonna like, it was gonna be delayed a bunch. And so it was gonna finally come out eventually, but uh, let's put this back in and don't ruin anything about this. I'm trying to <laughs> get this back in. Okay, we're back in. Uh, that is a very, very nice looking vinyl. I cannot wait to play this uh, at some point and hear how it sounds, but for now, I'll put this right in my sort of little cubby here. Yeah, other than that, this has just been a quick little Skrillex video and a call to um, to tell us what's going on, Skrillex. What what's happening? This what is what is Skrillex? What is Contra? What what is 2023? So um, goodbye.